All right. Quiz me. I'm not asking you about sorcery anymore. Okay. Okay? Answers. Things happened very speedily, didn't they? Yeah. Didn't they? Didn't they? Yes. James 1 5, read that. Is your mic on that? Oh, no. Better, better few minutes in than uh, yeah, 15 minutes in. That's why I stopped you now. Thank you. Three set. Open book test. Take two. I'm going. Let me close this book. I want you off the top of your head. Yes. To give me three scriptures. Three. One, two, three. Of bitterness mm -hmm. and unforgiveness. Three. It uh, and I want you to source it. Forgive, lest ye be forgiven. John 3, two, you know, uh, about bitterness and um, cast, <laughs> cast your burdens on. <laughs> Get to your point. Go ahead and finish. No, no, no I, I do refuse. It. Look it up. Now look it up. I want Made you to. Made a mockery. Look it up now. Bitterness, unforgiveness. I want you to open up that little notepad you got going there and uh, find scriptures on that. Yeah. Easy. Go. Proverbs 24, 17. Do not rejoice and gloat when your enemy falls. And do not let your heart be glad in self-righteousness when he stumbles. Is that unforgiveness or... Um... What else did I say? I said unforgiveness, and that's what came up. Okay, yeah. For if you forgive others their trespasses, their reckless and willful sin, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Matthew 6, 14. Colossians 3, 13. Bearing graciously with one another and willingly forgive each other. That's good. If one has cause for complaint against another. That's Colossians 3, 13. And then, of course, Ephesians uh, 4.32. Be kind and helpful to one another, tender-hearted, compassionate, and understanding, forgiving, forgiving one another readily and freely, just as God in Christ also forgave you. I promise you, if you hadn't quit the first time, we would be here for, like, the next 10 minutes okay. of you trying to figure out three scriptures about forgiveness and bitterness. This is why this element, when you open a book, this element, when you, when you have resources around you to help you along your way, to help you attain that answer. It goes by so much faster, easier. I mean, it's the way to do it. And unfortunately, we ourselves in life, we live our lives with a closed book and the tests, they come. That's that's something that's guaranteed to every one of us. The tests will come, the trials will come, but we have an open book test. That's we good. have well, open books okay. an open book available to us and we've all been there if you've had any bit of schooling you know you you sit in a class and say there's a pop quiz you're like I didn't study but the moment she says it's an open book pop quiz you're like yeah, you're like I can find this somewhere. solid hold up I know exactly where to go it's not a big deal it really isn't and that kind of element has to be it has to come into our spiritual life in fact I'll read it in in uh, James 1 5 it says any of you lacks wisdom mm -hmm. you should ask God who gives generously to all all without finding fault and it will be given to you if you lack wisdom which is the number one problem for everything that you face oh that's it's true. a wisdom problem it's a wisdom problem it's not a money problem no nope. it's not a sexual or moral problem mm -hmm. it's a wisdom problem wisdom because it's not what you eat that defiles you the Bible says it's what comes out of your mouth It's what comes out of your heart it's what's inside that defiles you we see the problem and we think that that's the problem mm -hmm. the drug abuse is not the problem Problem. Right. There's something on the inside that is rotting. There is something on the inside that is a problem. And it's 100% rooted in the spiritual. And this is spirit. This is life and this is spirit. So the only way to combat those things, those different problems, the different trials in life, we've all been through them. It's through the word of God. But we we just keep this on a shelf. We, there's a little bit of dust. Well, I, I don't even remember the last time I, I even opened that thing up. I don't remember. You know, that is a sad, it's a very dangerous thing to do as a believer is to keep this closed because this is your help. Look how quickly it was that you got three scriptures. It's so easy. It's so it easy. It's so easy, and all I of remember a back in, before these these days, we knew those days. Concordance. Where you would have concordance, the lexicon, big giant ones. The, 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 yes, 
now everything is right here. Literally. Boom. Yeah, whatever, whatever kind of topic. And that's why I think a lot of people that are on the earth present, they aren't gonna get away with a lot of the things that they think that they got away with. Well, you know, some people say, well, God, you know, God will judge you based on what you know you know, and he's merciful based on what you know. What you can know is so readily available that God's not gonna say, you know what, you didn't know that that's what the Bible said. I'm sorry, just come on in. You didn't know that, no. Because all you had to do was Google it. You've got your phone, you got your iPad, you got your computers. All you gotta do is, is do one little word study and it's readily available, especially in North America. Ladies and gentlemen, there are some countries where the Bible is not even available to you. But here in America, we have a, a much greater greater responsibility to know the word, to get in the word, because this is our sustenance. We gotta stop playing church. Mm -hmm. We gotta stop playing games with my heart and, and, and get in the word of God. You know how I feel about that. Anyway, you gotta get in the word of God. It is an open Even book. Backstreet Boys? Test. Is that what you mean? Quit playing games with my heart? That's... I didn't want to say it, but... Reference to Backstreet Boys. The greatest uh, boy band of all time. The second but greatest <clears throat> boy band anyway, of all time. Anyway, no, that's not true. And, and so, and what I'm saying... All day. What I'm saying is that you gotta keep this thing open. You have to learn from it. You have to be guided by it. You have to be directed by it. For all the... Ah! Rom, is that you? Yeah, of course. He's, I can't tell. You're in the shadows. So what you have to know is, is what the word of God declares over your life situations. That, that's why you don't, have to, you don't have to wonder. I don't understand why more people aren't going to this as a source. Why are you living with bitterness and discord in your marriage? Why not see what the word of God has to say? And I'm gonna tell you what, sis. People done be living in misery for 15, 25 years. 35 years, 40 years. And all they had to do was just, you know what, let me get the answer to that right, now, right, right here real quick. Right. One day, one moment's time. Mm -hmm. It's the revelation of God's word. This just happened to me not so long ago. I'm not gonna share the, 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 the details with y'all because it's not necessary. Maybe someday I will. But I was going through it. I'm in this place and I'm like, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to deal with with this and you know what what I allowed myself to think don't over spiritualize it that's what I told myself I guess I am gonna get into it. <laughs> I, I told myself don't over spiritualize it I thought you know what uh, this is just something that I'm going to deal with this is just a natural process and I'm not going to over spiritualize this and make this religious it's not religious so I convinced myself because I don't want to be religious that I'm going to abstain from searching what the Word of God was for this area in my life because I thought no now you're going into now you're just being religious about it like why does everything have to come back to that and so for a very long time that's where the struggle continued. Mm -hmm. And so it was until I took some rest, I took some alone time, and I felt the Holy Ghost direct me to a scripture. And I opened up my phone at the time because I, um, Jonathan had lost my Bible, but I got it back. I read the word of God and there was this scripture that just jumped up off my phone. And it was everything that I needed to know about where I was. Okay. And so I thought to myself, why did I take this long? Even if it's three days, I know. even if it's a week, why was this not the first thing that I ran to? Why wasn't I like seeking desperately? Because sometimes we could even like, you know, just pawn it off on, well, you're just being religious now. You know, that's just something that's normal. No, you know, everything is spiritual and it doesn't have to be, religion in and of itself isn't bad. It's just that you putting God in a box and making your life having to be like very based on rules and regulations and that, no. It doesn't have, it's a relationship. And just like any earthly relationship that's worth having a relationship with, you know, the, the other person, there's always going to be feedback. Right. So if I present you with an issue that I'm facing, you're going to give me feedback. Sure. And it's going to change. Mm -hmm. And that's something that I can count on. When it comes to good friends that are, are readily available for you, uh, good family friends, maybe a pastor, a mentor, you can go to that person and you can absolutely 100% know 
know that you will be leaving with a word. You will be leaving with some kind of aid, with some kind of help, with some kind of direction, a step in the way that you should go. And that's what God wants to do with his word. And too many of us, we're going through problems, we're going through difficulty, and we aren't even seeking what the word of God has to say because we think that that's just not, that's not the way to go. This yeah. is my life. Like what's happened to me in my life, this is what the, I have to, it's practical. I have to deal with it in the practical instead of just saying, you know what? Everything is rooted in the spirit. Right. I can go to the word of God and see what the word of God has to say and I can be directed. And I can tell you right now, the word of God not only brings direction, it brings you healing. It brings you um, restoration. restoration. It brings you rest. It brings you resolve. Man, it brings you so many, th this thing is so underrated in North America and the world. And the more that I get into it, the more unbelievable, my mind is just like blown every time I get into it. And I think to myself, this is the only thing that I should be reading every single day, all day, yeah. because I just find one little thing. It was that one little scripture that unlocked complete peace in my heart. One little scripture that the word of God drew me to where I thought I was having to battle something in the natural and I just had to, you know, I'll just eat, I'll just exercise exercise, I'll just be better and this and the other. When God directed me and said, no, this is what's up. Boom. And weeks of struggle mm -hmm. all went down the poop shoe. Just because of one scripture, one revealed word of God, that's the power that this has yeah. for your life. Mm -hmm. If you want to ace life, if you want for your life to be success after success instead of F, 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 Open up this book and see where it takes you. It's the easiest thing in the whole wide world. I'm telling you from personal experience, what you've suffered with, what's been plagued in your mind for years, months, weeks, you don't have to put up with it one more day. All you have to do is get in a quiet place where you're hearing of the Lord and say, God, I'm not getting up from this table until I have a word from you. Be serious about it and he will speak to you. This thing is living, it's real, and he's waiting for you to press in and, and, and he wants to reveal that thing to you. He's not a father that's keeping things from you to teach you a lesson. That's ridiculous. He wants to instruct you in the way that you should go and it starts with what? You opening up this thing and seeing what's available to you. So don't keep it closed. Keep it open, y'all. It's an open book test. Amen. God bless. Peace. Deuces.